Welcome to Play In School TV, episode 10. I'm Rich Prado. In today's episode, we talk about winter camp and I show off the newest addition to my wardrobe. I get asked about camps all the time, so I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about the different types of camps and who might be a good fit for those different types of camps. Okay, so before I talk about the two different styles of camps, I, I do want to say that any camp is going to be a good camp if the main focus is on development and learning about the game. Okay, so the comments that I'm going to make, those are going to be uh, kind of more geared towards uh, recruiting. Okay, so you essentially have two different style camps. You've got, on the one hand, camps run by camp companies or the showcase companies running camps. Um, on the other hand, you have the college camps. Okay, they're both great. Uh, there's some subtle differences, so let's talk about maybe the pros and cons or mostly the different types of pros uh, for each type of camp. All right, so let's, let's talk briefly about um, camps run by the camp companies uh, or the academies or or the showcase uh, teams and companies out there. A lot of these guys are running great events. So one of the things that they do that is really beneficial is they're usually gonna bring in coaches from all over. They're gonna bring in college coaches from the state, from the region, uh, maybe from across the country. I think a player who's a good fit for this is a kid who's maybe at the front end of their process, who really doesn't know where they wanna go yet. These camps are a good way to um, again, not only learn from these different coaches, but to play in front of them, to swing the bat and throw the ball in front of coaches from all over the place. Kind of gives them a chance to get evaluated by, by these coaches um, in kind of call it a one-stop shop. One caveat that probably needs to be said, a lot of parents maybe don't realize this, those coaches that are there are being paid to be there, okay? That, that's not a bad thing. I just want to make sure you realize that college coaching is um, is not a well-paid profession at the lower levels. When you're a volunteer assistant, uh, the name volunteer implies you're working for nothing. Okay, so a lot of the number two, number three uh, volunteer assistant or ops guy may go out during the winter and the summer and work camps. The camp companies are gonna pay these coaches. It's a win-win if you ask me. They get paid, which they deserve and they should be getting paid. They also get to watch kids um, play. So that's a, that's a win-win for the coach. Just wanted to make sure that parents understand they're being paid to be there. The reason, one of the reasons I bring that up is um, don't be fooled by the, uh, the, the marketing of some of these camp companies when they, when they show the list of how many of these programs are gonna be there. Um, you know, sometimes, like I said, you may show up and it's gonna be, you know, 12 volunteer assistants, which is great, um, but you know, it's usually not a decision maker. Um, and it's usually not gonna be a head coach. Head coaches are getting paid. Uh, they're getting paid a lot better than a number three assistant. They're getting paid a lot better than a volunteer assistant. Um, so just be aware of that when you're researching which camps you're looking at. And uh, one of the things I would definitely um, recommend is kind of go a little deeper in your research and ask these guys what the camp coach to camp player ratio is gonna be. Um, it's wonderful if there's gonna be 20 college coaches there, um, but if there's gonna be 300 kids there, your ratio might not be where you want it to be. Okay, just, just a little food for thought there. Again, a lot of really good events being run out there, uh, a lot of good camps, a lot of great opportunities to not only learn, uh, but to also play in front of coaches from across the state, region, uh, or even the country. All right, so let's talk about the college camps. Uh, yes, college camps help supplement the income of the college coaches. Yes, sometimes those college coaches are marketing to a database that they have, a camp database. They may send out 100 or 500 or 1,000 or 5,000 invites to camp. Okay. And finally, yes, college camps are very important to attend, but you gotta be strategic. You gotta ask yourself realistically, are you an SEC guy? Do you project to be an SEC guy? 
or did your name just end up in their database? Okay, so you could go, again, SEC coaches are some of the best coaches in the country. So if you wanna go with the intention of learning and growing as a ball player and learning from the best coaches in the country, then go. But if you're, a, if you're a rising senior that's never spoken to a D1 coach and you get a camp invite from an SEC program, you might be that kid who's you know just on there so that they can make that extra 300 bucks. Again, if you're going to learn, go. If you're going from a recruiting standpoint, you might be better off saving your money. So once you have your short list of what, what types of schools you might be interested in athletically, academically, schools that you fit well and that may be interested in you, those are the types of camps that you want to try to attend. All right, so the, the big benefits for a kid who maybe has things narrowed down a little bit uh, for attending a college camp is it's gonna give that player, you know, like the entire weekend to rub elbows with the coaching staff and maybe even some of the current players. You're gonna to get to see that coach in action. You're gonna to get to uh, see those players in action. You're gonna really get to interact with those guys you know, for 24 or 48 or 36 hours during the course of the uh, camp. That is really important. Another thing, a lot of those camps are obviously being held on campus. The more time you can spend on campus, the better feel you're gonna get for uh, that particular school. An on-campus college camp is going to be a tremendous research opportunity for you to mingle, uh, for you to walk around, for you to see that coach's style of, of coaching and get to talk to those players. Many of the college coaches out there are going to actually tell you that a majority of the players on their current roster attended at least one of their on-campus camps. That, that's been the case for years and years and years. The showcases during the summertime are wonderful for the, op the evaluation opportunities that coaches get, but that weekend camp scenario is really important uh, for the relationship to solidify for not only the player, but for the coach that it's a good fit. Again, ho hopefully that's a really quick overview. They're both good situations. Make sure you do your research. Uh, I think in a nutshell, if you're a kid at the front end of the process, you're not really sure where you want to be, that camp company might be a really good fit for you, okay? If you know you have things narrowed down, I highly recommend get, get out to um, you know, the schools that you are interested in, in that also may be interested in you because that's going to give you really some next level research. All right, so you may have noticed I'm currently sporting a brand new VMI long sleeve dry fit. Uh, I wanted to give a thanks to Coach Hadra, head coach up at VMI. Uh, I've been pestering the coaching staff up there for a couple years now. Um, check out that logo. It's a three letter intertwined logo that I think is one of the coolest logos in college sports. If you're not familiar with VMI, Virginia Military Institute is located up in Lexington, Virginia. Uh, just like the name says, it is a military school. It's one of our stops on the Virginia College bus tour. Uh, Coach Hadra played there, um, so he's got more experience than anybody can help answer any questions about Virginia Military. Um, thanks for the uh, shirt, Coach. I am currently accepting t-shirt donations from colleges across the country. Please send them to me. I'll, I'll, uh, if, if you need my address, uh, shoot me a message. Um, love the college gear. I'll give you a shout out here on Play In School TV and on Twitter. Uh, by the way, please follow me at Play In School. If you have any questions, uh, you can hit me up there or comment below on YouTube.